What's up guys, my name is Marlon, aka 3Fish. Welcome to another episode of 3Fish Facts, where we take your random items and blocks, bullshit, mobs, redstones, blue stones, lapis lazuli, and we make information questions and answer them, because we are awesome, yeah. So today's episode is on soul sand, and pretty much this one was kind of expected, kind of like that, and soul sand is a block found in the nether, where, where, uh, yeah, something. So, we have five questions, and they are, how slow are you on soul sand? Are, are items, boats, carts, etiquette affected, affected by soul sand? Do blocks underneath soul sand affect speed? How quickly, how can you move quickly through soul sand? And does soul sand help you, or help or hinder in parkour? So, very first question, how, how slow are you on soul sand? We could easily answer that by saying we are, s by answering the question, are we even slow on soul sand? So, I'm gonna go in F5 because I don't know, I got bored, and I'm just gonna walk on this path of thing. So I'm gonna walk, and you see I walk pretty regular speed, and now if I walk on soul sand, the speed decreases by a, a lot. Kind of saying you do move pretty slow. And yeah, thing is I don't know exactly how slow, but you do move kind of slow. See? You even if you walk sideways, even if you even if you're in first person, you even walk slow. Yeah. Um but I don't know exactly how slow it is, so I'm gonna say about one and a half times slower. Um I'd say like five I'm gonna say it's one and a half times slower time times slower and second question is um are items boats carts etiquette of fed or <coughs> etc I don't know why I said etiquette I'm pretty sure that that's an entirely different word um are affected by soul sand so what we have are a few items that we want to test out let's let's just get all of them First thing is that we're going to test a boat. So this is how, f this is how fast a boat. What the heck? Okay, l let's start with minecart since that one's easier. <laughs> okay, this is. Okay, this is how fast a minecart moves when you push it on, on regular land. And if we move it over to soul sand, we'll find out that it's. Hmm. That it's some reason just as fast. I think. Let's let's find out if we move it on to. What the heck? It can't even go back. Oh, so no, it doesn't affect minecarts. So we could take those two out and that one too because that's a double. Um, we could test out items. What I'm going to do just simply, uh, I will create this thing. I don't even need the lapis block. I don't think so. Okay, that's why I need the lapis. Oh no, no, my heads, my heads, my heads from the other episode. Okay, I, I'm going to do something really simple. I'm just going to leave that, that, the destruction of the heads like that. It, will it go? Yeah, now it's going sh forward. So I'm going to create um, a water spawn right on all of these things. And we are going to drop an item. Wait, first of all, I need one on a regular piece. <coughs> I'm gonna drop two, two the same or two items, and I'm gonna see how fast they move in comparison if they are on soul sand or on plain things. So let's just take two items. There you go, two lapis blocks, and I'm gonna drop and drop. As you can see, they are actually moving really differently in the speed. See that one's already there, and that one's still going. So it does affect dropped items. Strange. Now we're gonna test boats. I don't actually know how to test this. It's gonna this isn't gonna work well, is it? Okay, so now we have a boat and and uh, that's about how fast it went. 
but let's just say that now we have another boat it looks like they went the same speed problem is we should be testing if if they are just as fast while we have them without water and stuff so I'm gonna take out the water in this and I'm just gonna race all this lap is I don't want to see you guys go there oh and I'm gonna spawn two boats one here and one here see what the heck okay well it's sunk down and it's pretty hard to push but in comparison this is just as bad let's say only thing is that the initial walking speed is slower on that and if we go onto the what the heck I found a glitch okay well if I just move around like it, it, you could kind of tell that I'm slightly moving around I am a shark I am a shark shark I am a shark um but yeah Oops. you do move pretty slow and I let's patch that up and we'll do the same thing with this and oh my god I am moving just as slow actually am I moving slower okay I'm definitely moving slower on this so it does it, it mainly it just affects stuff so yeah <laughs> um it affects dropped items and riding on non boats Next question is, let me patch this up again. The next question is, do blocks underneath affect soul state? Or, uh, 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 yeah, uh, let's just say that said that. So we have a bunch of blocks here. Um, the redstone just kind of broke, and so did the torch and the lever. I'm just gonna replace those all. Uh, let's let's move all of these out of the way and put these three in, and then let's place them all down because that one's supposed to be up this one is there and then that or something like that I don't know and then we'll just shift and click destroy items to destroy an entire river yeah so we're gonna try walking on no block ice glass fence thing um redstone redstone torch um piston arm and lever I don't know why um anvil and water and, and then sign for no reason. So if I could fly up and start walking, instantly I start going really slow on ice. So we know that. Ice does affect that, yeah. And we're going to keep walking around and we find out that nothing else works. So only ice. We take a sign, not the glass. A sign is what I need. Give me a sign. Ice. Next question is how can you move quickly through soul sand? Well, first of all, you may think like the best thing to do about it is to run. But if we go into F3 and we walk, what we're looking at is a Z coordinate right now. If I run, it doesn't seem to change it that much. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It does slightly I just don't think it's very much but what you can do is rather than just walk you could just keep jumping because you could look like an idiot while doing it you know. yeah run jumping it has to be the best solution to it regular jumping doesn't really do much but yes <clears throat> so the answer to this is run jumping four it's four four uh, run jumping okay. oh. jump I'm right, yeah, terrible at spawn sucks <laughs> right, okay last question does soul sand help or hinder in parkour well the answer to this is pretty obvious but um, we want to be sure by exactly how much so I created a parkour thing just very slight to test parkour in various ways so what we have here is very first thing is going up on this and yeah same thing is a triple jump and it made it pretty far now we're going to what this is is a double triple jump and then a quadruple jump or a four block jump it, 
or two three blocks and one four block and it's actually well known that if you do them all in one go with just holding space you could actually make it with regular blocks so we're going to do that right now we're going to do that right now and see i made what the heck i stupid okay let's let's do it again see 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 i made it i made it and i actually made it near the middle and and if i could just do that and then another and then another see it's harder it's harder I made it like close to the middle and here's some stairs to go up for no reason and now we're up here this is a uh, um, one block oh actually it's this jump this is a one block jump going up one and then this is a two block going up one which you have to run on and which I completely failed at and I even missed that and that's what the heck oh this is a bull Okay, and then a two block jump, which actually I could I could walk on. And and another two block jump, which we could just consecutively run if or walk if we try, which I completely fit. Ah oh, come on, come on, come on. Gotta do better. Okay, for, forget it. We're we're just gonna do one. And at the same time, fall. Well I missed. Oh well, who cares? Now let's do it with this. So right away we have to jump through that, which actually works. And let's try running three block jump. We could do that. We could do another three block jump, but but it's not possible to do a four block jump starting at Soul Sand. You most likely can do it landing on Soul Sand, just not starting. So now I'm gonna do the consecutive three, one, two, and I had a terrible start from the um I had a terrible landing from the first or second one. So I couldn't do it. Now, so now we're just gonna go up to this, and we're gonna try running up to this, and we can, but not with ease. Not with ease. Definitely not with ease. Now regular. <sighs> Why am I sucking up our horn? Okay, now regular two block jump, walk in, and you do actually have difficulty in something as easy as this, okay, but it is possible. Another one. Okay, I forgot it, and pretty much falling down fuck it there yeah forget it so how does it hinder and um it took me a while to figure this out actually no it didn't probably took me only three seconds but the answer is that it um neg negates um negates speed by l hmm i don't know how to word this i'm terrible at articulation you guys know that right it negates speed um to a point Let, let's just say that negate speed to a point um making um, making jumps hard forget it negate speed to a point well that pretty much concludes the um episode of three fish three fish facts to, um episode four soul sand and yeah we have a bunch of pictures here no reason and and if you hold shift and click destroy items you destroy all the items in your inventory cool if you're new to the channel or you want to see more of this three fish facts series and click that subscribe like comment do whatever you want because a pirate is free, you are a pirate, rah rah, fiddle dee dee, do what you want because a pirate is free, do what you want because a pirate is free, you are, yeah.